Hello everyone. Welcome to another reading session. Today we are going to read another story. Zora's Zucchini. Let's read it. It was only the third day of summer vacation, but Zora was already out of ideas. Zora rode her bike in large lazy circles around the neighborhood, just like the day before and the day before that. When Zora rode by the hardware store, she noticed something new, a bunch of plants with fuzzy green leaves. Free zucchini. Zora read Z like me. She filled her basket with zucchini plants and headed home. Look what I found. Zora announced, "Zucchini, I'm going to plant these in our garden." Zora dug big holes so the roots had room to grow. She settled the plants snugly in the soil. She watered each one. That's going to be a lot of zucchini," said her father. "We need it," Zora promised. As June warm turned to July hot, Zora tended her garden. She watered the plants when their leaves got droopy. She cheered every time she saw a new yellow orange zucchini blossom. One morning, Zora spotted her very first zucchini. She snapped it off the vine with a quick twist and raced to show her family. Zora's family found a new way to cook zucchini every day. Her brother made bread, her sister made soup, her parents marinated and grated and barbecued. As Zora's garden grew, they ate zucchini for breakfast, lunch and dinner. More Zora offered. By the first day of August, Zora's garden was a jungle of prickly, tickly, bushy, blossomy plants. Every single one of those plants was covered in zucchini. There was no way her family could eat it all. Zora peered into her neighbor's garden. It was full of tomatoes, but no zucchini. Hi, Mrs. Thompson. Would you like to trade some tomatoes for some zucchini? Zora asked. Absolutely, Mrs. Thompson replied. Zora swapped an armful of zucchini for an armful of tomatoes. Zora's zucchini kept growing. This is crazy, she said. She loaded up her bike and gave every last one away. The next day, Zora found even more zucchini. Seriously, she said. Zora thought and thought. She had an idea, but she knew she couldn't do it alone. Her brother painted the signs. Her parents printed the flyers. Zora and her sister posted them all over the neighborhood. On Saturday, Zora's garden swap was open for business. Take a veggie and leave a veggie, or at least please take some zucchini. Zora tightened her sign. She checked the time. The sun got hotter. Zora's feet got fidgetier, and she began to worry that her garden swap was a garden flop. Then Zora saw Mrs. Rivera carrying a big bowl of raspberries, and Mrs. Peterson bringing potatoes. Neighbors stopped by with carrots, peppers, and green beans from their gardens. They shared plums, apricots, and cherries from their trees. People left whatever they had too much of and took whatever they wanted. Zora traded and traded until all her zucchini was gone. Zora looked around at the busy, noisy jumble of munching, laughing, chatting neighbors. Her zucchini garden has brought so many people together. She was already plotting what to grow next summer. That's the end of the story. When garden grow and grow and grow, we need to donate it, preserve it, or share it. That's the end of the story. Did you guys like the story? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody liked the story. I liked it very much. What have you planned to grow in your summer garden? What are you growing? What veggies are you growing in your summer garden? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. That sounds nice. Thank you. See you in another reading session. Thank you. Bye bye.